and you don't have a computer, uh, all you gotta do is download iMovie. iMovie is simple to use, easy to use. I've been editing with it for about three weeks now, or four. Since January, a friend told me about it, and I'm like, oh yeah, bro, I'll try it out. And, um, I tried it out, and, uh, you know, I started using it, and I'm like, this is gonna be a crappy thing. Because at first, I couldn't figure out how to use it. And, uh, so I finally started playing with it. Four tracks, 300. Move, Bailey. Uh, 1999. Full time, full wheel drive. So, I'm going to give you all guys a walk around of it. I know people are going to ask eventually. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so this is my Honda. We've been working on it for about six months. I was planning on starting a YouTube channel with it. Uh, this is something I got for Christmas right here. This is a winch. Two, uh, 2,500 pound Badlands winch. It's got wireless and it's got wire full. I don't know how to say that, you know. I got this light bar, yeah. So we caught, so this, we, my dad and me, we cut all this back here. We cut all this stock rack and we cut it down to where the winch would fit down here so it would take so much pressure off of my front end and everything else. So we cut that down and we welded it in here with some bolts and everything and put it in. So I got that. Then we come over to the light bar. This, I love. The other one I mounted right here. We couldn't mount it right here because of the winch. So we mounted it right here. And now I can steer, which of course I can't right now because it's not moving. I'm not sitting down with both hands. And we mounted it right here. We welded it to, you can't see it, to the light bulb, to the handlebars. And uh, welded it to it. So now we can, I can turn and it works. So then we come over to my seat. I love this seat. I got it for my birthday, which is January 22nd. I'll take it off for you guys. And then we had to put a, y'all can't see it. Y'all can barely see it without the glare. 
is a coating. I paid thirty dollars for it, and we put it in there. And my gas tank was leaking, and it was all rusted up. Scrubbed it out, and then I shook it around for thirty minutes, followed the instructions, waited seven days like it asked, and it sealed pretty good. It's it hasn't been leaking. So then we come over to the racks. Now, personally, I love these racks. Hang on, I gotta move, put my seat. Get your guys in there. Okay, so the rack, I love this rack. My dad extended it seven inches back here. Guys, y'all chill out over there. We, ex by the way, we extended it seven inches. Um, it's a little muddy right now. She's a little dirty. I should have cleaned her. And uh, we extended it seven inches. We added this around it. And then he put, we put this. Now this I like because most of these old foolers like this, uh, people have been very brutal on them. And this breaks. So this breaks and then you just they just leave it open because these foolers right here are very hard to get parts for now, so. Yeah, so we added that, and then we added the side rail, which I love, because I can put something back here, and I don't have to worry about it just launching off the back, you know, because that happens a lot. And then we added this side piece, as y'all can see. I'm wondering, prob y'all probably wondering, why does he have that? It's so, it's so weird. It, it's unique. I love it because it's unique. We added this for the side. Because the 200 TRX has this. And it worked really good because all this didn't break, you know. And I'm going to get into this in a minute. So, this we added. This is square tubing. Yes, it's hollow. Because the folder would be squatting right now. And we added up here. We extended this so it protect this a little more. And we did all that, and then I'll show you guys the inside of this real quick. I gotta, you know, do this. These are custom made. My dad got some rubber. We bought it, and he cut it, and they wanted $17 a piece for these. So we made some new ones. See, it still works. And instead of having the little, you know, weird rig right here where it slides up against your metal, we put door hinges. So then we open this. And then this right here was, this one was good. But now if we come over to this one, you're wondering why this looks like I've been smudging gum on it. This is epoxy. And it makes as a hinge for me. And it's, it's sturdy. Stuff's like, as you can hear, it's like concrete, basically, except with a plastic sound. And uh, he put we put that, and, you know, it's it won't move. It doesn't move. Has not crapped on, out on me yet. And if it does, I'll just put some new ones. Because if you want to replace this right here, you have to buy all the back plastics. And... Those are expensive, so I don't want to do that. So, yeah, we... This, we broke this. This nut broke. This one's all right. We broke this. So, my dad put that there. Ah, shoot. Now. And we put some electrical tape right there. Because... It was rattling extremely bad. So, yeah, let me get into the fender flares with you guys and tell you what these are made out of. This is busted fire hose. And you're like, probably like sitting right now wondering and all, why use that? Well, for one, it's super sturdy. This stuff is bulletproof. Not bulletproof. You get what I mean. I mean, it's... It, it moves, it's flexible, so if a limb comes and smacks it, I don't have to worry about it cracking like the other stuff. Number two, this 
if we would have made wouldn't have made this and bought the regular stuff, this would have been it was three hundred fifty dollars for the back and the front. We didn't want to pay for that, so then we left this and we made the rest homemade a fire hose. Same for the back. We left access right here for stuff like this because I didn't want the mud roaring to the front of me. You know, when it's cold in the wintertime, you don't want that happening. And then we had this. They have metal. It's buried underneath the mud. And we added the chain so it wouldn't, you know, just dangle there and get caught up in the tires and tear everything up. Stock exhaust. Uh... I sat here, I sat for a whole entire day and a half, sanding this all down, every last bit of this. And then my dad finished the little bit I had left. He sanded this, and this is all repainted. See, I still got my stickers. The owner of this never really used it. He used it a little bit when he was younger, and he just mainly used it two or three times to go hunting a year. So it probably has less than 300 hours on it. So I'm very pleased. This was completely given to me. This was free. We had to put a new carb in it. We had to seal the gas tank with some stuff. And we had to rebuild the starter. And after we rebuilt the starter, it was good. We had to put a new battery up in here. I can't show y'all that. We bought a gel battery. Uh, we put a battery in it, a starter, new spark plug, and some sealer in the gas. And we filled her up with gas, and first crank, she started right up. She hadn't been started in two years. I've been riding her for about three months now. So, about two months. Uh, so, yeah, this is... And then we come over to right here. These are disc brakes. We didn't go with drum brakes because drum brakes wear out very fast. You might be wondering why I left the back ones. The back ones are basically brand new. You might be wondering why the front is wider than the back. One, we had we put the brakes on and it extended it about that much, about an inch. And then we had to, when we went to put on the tires, it was the final day we were going to work on it. We were putting on the tires. They put everything back together. The rims wouldn't fit. The caliper was rubbing on the brake. So what my dad and me did, we cut, had some other tires and rims that we cut, and then we stuck it out more, like uh, in more. So it make it it made the front water, which we didn't really like too much, but it's what we had to do to make it work. So, uh, yeah. And then come over the tires. This was supposed to have a little cleat, something like this. We cut that out and we smoothed that out. That was my first vid on my YouTube channel. 101 views. You go check that out. We were cutting them down. We cut them with a reciprocating saw. And then we used uh, a wire wheel thing and we smoothed it out. So that worked. These tires, I was expecting them to be like crap. I wanted some 28 inch Zillas, but uh, couldn't afford that. I wanted some new rims, but these rims are fine. I'm very satisfied with them. You can hate on me all you want. I don't care, you know. Um, we uh, said so this, was, this was a six month project. We didn't throw it all in at once because uh, that's when Corona hit. I just got the full willow when Corona was known in China. And then Corona came over here. And, uh, parts wasn't being shipped in. So we just, we put a hold on that. So we waited about six months. Worked on this a lot. And, uh, we, uh, yeah, we just, we winged with it. Uh, this four was not beat on, though. This one's never been sunk, never had to get a new top in, no rebuild, no overhauls, no problems with the diff, transfer case. Now, my transfer case did have water in it. 
not water, my all look like butter and milk. We replaced water in the front. The, what you call it? Transfer case, we replaced all in the transfer case. We need to drain it again because it was full of water. We put all in there. Put all for the rear and put all for the motor. And uh, she's been running fine. She does not smoke whatsoever. Smells just as good as could be. These brakes, we were going to cut them off. We opened them up right here. We took off all the axle and everything. And when we opened the drum up, the brakes looked brand new. They still worked. At first, when I first got on it, it was locked up. And the reason because that, that a foot peg right here for a brake. And that's what was stopping it. Oh, and these floorboards. I forgot to mention these. These are homemade. Straight homemade. Expanded metal and some square tubing. Mount it to the frame. When I first took this full wheel out, I wasn't too happy with the foot pegs. And I told my dad, my dad used to have one like this, but a two wheel drive and it was red. And uh, these foot pegs were very hard to keep my feet on because I would slide off of them. And it was hard to shift. So we added these, painted, painted everything. And yeah, that was, that's just about it guys. It's these, I'm very happy with these. I mean, I love this. Never got to use the winch. Hopefully, I can get it stuck for you guys. So, I can use the winch. I'd be very happy if I could use that thing soon. Because I've never got this thing stuck once. Never got it close to being stuck. Full wheel drive's a beast on this thing. These tires eat, though. These are all-terrain bear claws. Uh, my dad's buddy had his... One of his son's friends, they took these off. They bought one of these about 20 years ago. These tires have been sitting in his yard, tires and rims, for 20 years about. And he just wanted them out of his yard, so he bought them to work, and he was going to throw them away, and Dad told him he would take them. So he took these home, we cut them, and they do absolutely amazing. They rip through everything. Uh, They do rip the yard up if I, like, uh back up sharp they'll uh bite pretty good so uh yeah they i love them they don't tear up the yard too bad and they work and they were free that's the best part about them i love they were free so yeah all right guys uh i think that's gonna be it for the video I'll talk to you when I have my camera flipped around because i'm filming with my phone all right guys so uh yeah that was the walk around and a little drive around my house in the back. So, yeah. Thank you all for tuning in. And uh, catch you all in the next one. Probably going to have a mud riding video coming tomorrow. Peace.